the third one you mentioned is athletic greens. Because I'm on a vegetarian slash vegan diet, I describe myself as, as a, a newbie struggling vegan. Um, I need nutrients. And so athletic greens is uh, full of vitamins and, and plant-based whole foods uh, that ensures that I don't lack those nutrients. Because if you're just eating a vegan diet, and I've also given up dairy, you want to make sure that there's adequate nutrition. I don't want to go too deep on supplements. I think you talk at length for over an hour in Lifespan, which is your podcast on supplements, the third episode, I think. I do want to talk about three in particular that seem to keep coming up across a lot of people I know who are super focused on health. You bring up NMN, resveratrol, and athletic greens, and you take those every day. Talk to me about those three and why you take them and what they do to your body in the context of slowing or reversing aging. Right. Uh, so let's take them one by one. Resveratrol is a small, what's called a polyphenol. It's uh, produced by many plants to survive. It's produced by grapes and it's concentrated in red wine. It should be a white powder. It shouldn't be brown. If you buy it and it's brown, throw it away. Um, I take a gram of it every morning. Uh, with rare exceptions when I'm traveling and I forget it. But I mix it with a little bit of yogurt because it, just a little bit, like a couple of teaspoons. Or today I had a, had a bit of avocado because resveratrol is insoluble in water and often people take it and it doesn't get absorbed. So do that. Why does it work? Well, we we have shown in many animal studies and people have now shown in human studies that it's activating uh, one of the main sirtuin pathways called SIRT1. And uh, it does that like an accelerator pedal. The chemical resveratrol will bind to the enzyme and make it work faster. Now, that's the accelerator pedal for SIRT1. The gas or the petrol is NAD. NAD is a molecule that we need for life. Without it, we're dead in 30 seconds. And NAD um, isn't something that you can, um, well, you can swallow it, but the best bang for the buck is to eat molecules that the body uses to make this NAD molecule. And the one that I choose to take is called NMN, short for nicotinamide mononucleotide. But think of it as M&Ms, but just flip the letters around. Don't eat M&Ms. You won't live longer. Um, <laughs> you can eat M&Ms, but if you want to live longer, don't do that. But the, the NMN is important because it's the immediate precursor to make NAD and the body makes NAD very rapidly. And I know from clinical trials that I've been involved with, that taking a gram of NMN, which I do every day, raises NAD levels in whole blood, in the cells in the blood, probably in the rest of my body as well. It's hard to test that without a tissue sample. I'm not, I'm not going to give up my brain anytime soon. But the doubling of that NAD is important because as we get older, we make less of this chemical. We have about half the levels of NAD in our skin, for example, as I, I, I have half the levels if I didn't supplement that I would have made when I was 20. Um, and so I boost those levels back up to being youthful. And then the idea is that the sirtuin defenses are activated. Um, and that's enhanced by the diet that I have, as well as a little bit of exercise. Now, the third one you mentioned is athletic greens. Because I'm on a vegetarian slash vegan diet, I describe myself as, as a, a newbie struggling vegan. Um, I need nutrients. And so athletic greens is uh, full of vitamins and, and plant-based whole foods uh, that ensures that I don't lack those nutrients. Because if you're just eating a vegan diet, and I've also given up dairy, you want to make sure that there's adequate nutrition. So you know, I'm, I'm on one meal a day, basically, OMAD. But it, I want to add another couple of letters, which is A-N, OMAD, A-N. I just made that up, by the way, Shane, so trademark that. Om OMADN, <laughs> let's call it. Adequate nutrition, put that on the end. And that's what Athletic Greens does for me. Um, I do take one other drug uh, called metformin, which is a type 2 diabetes drug that has been shown to associate with longer life and less diseases in old age um, by looking at type 2 diabetics. And there's a stunning, stunning fact that type 2 diabetics that would normally have a short lifespan, when they take metformin, typically at two grams a day, I'm on one gram a day, by the way, they actually have less diseases and live longer than people that don't have type 2 diabetes. 